Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Monday, Monday after spring break. I hope that you had a wonderful spring break. Some of you might be thinking, who is this lady? I am Mrs. Frail, and I know that I had been out for a very long time, and I'm back, and I just wanted to say hello to all my Frungra friends, especially the ones in my own class. But it's so great that I get to come into everyone's house and talk to you and teach with you. Today we're going to be talking about what day it is. And can you see on my board that today is Monday, April 13th, 2020. And what I'd like to do now is I'd like to write the code for that date. Does anyone know how to write the code? Hmm, a code is a sure way of writing the date. This is the fourth month of the year. So the first number is going to be four, correct, four, Dash, and I told you it was the 13th day, 13th dash 2020. So I don't have to write out the whole 2020, I'm only gonna write one of them. So the code for today is four dash 13 dash 20. And then any of the work that you're doing today, you might be wanting to write that in there. So, we had a particularly different spring break this year than we normally do. I hope that you did get to go outside and play and maybe that you got to ride your bike or do some sidewalk chalk. But you might also be feeling a little bit because we've been staying inside for so long. So I'm gonna have you watch this video on Go Noodle to sure, to sort of shake away those wiggles of maybe worriness and just be mindful to get into a good learning position. Think about it. Sit or stand up straight. Take a deep breath and follow along. Life can be messy. A morning at home can be rough. Getting to school and making it through lunch can be challenging, but you have to keep going. You have to shake off those yucky feelings. Your body can help. Shake your fingers. Shake, 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 shake. Stop. Now your hands. Shake them like you've got them all wet and you want to shake them dry. Just your hands. Shake, 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 shake. Floppy, up or down, side to side. Shake, shake, shake. Stop. Be mindful of your neighbors and get your arms into it. Raise them up. Now shake them off. Upper arms, forearms, and yes, fingers and hands too. Shake, 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 shake. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Feeling like you shook off something? You did. Help yourself move forward. Shake off those rough moments. Shake them off and move on. Now that you've finished your mindful thinking, and you're ready to get started. Let's do our pledges. Ready? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And then we have our firm book pledge. I pledge to do my best. I pledge to listen to adults and classmates. I pledge to walk through the halls quietly. I pledge to be respectful and responsible. And I know that Mrs. Mariani spoke to you about being respectful and responsible at home and maybe that you're not running through the hallways, but you're being respectful when you're working in your house or someone else might be working on a computer in your home and you're just taking the time to be a respectful citizen. So one of the things I wanna to talk to you about today is the weather. Now, I don't know about you, but I find that sometimes the weather people don't get it right. But today's weather on Monday, 4-13-20, is supposed to be 59 degrees. That's kind of nice temperature outside, but it's supposed to be partly cloudy. So that means a little sun and a little clouds. I hope that the weather like by you is like this today, and I hope the weather by me is like this today. But we'll see. We'll see if the weatherman got it right. Another thing I want to talk to you about today is this. Shh. No, I'm not asking you to be quiet. I'm asking you what two letters 
in the digraph make the shh sound. Oh, I think I heard someone say it. These two letters, do you remember what they were? The S and the H. And when they work together, they make the sound shh, like in ship, like in shoe. And today we're going to be working with a little practice on this SH sound. So I'm going to put my SH on my board. And I'm going to write a word. And I'm hoping that you can see it. I'm going to turn my thing just a little bit. Okay, ready? Here's my word. W I S H. Think that you know that word. Can you say it in a silent voice in your brain? Yeah. Let's see if we can say it together. Wa ish. Wa ish. Good job. That word was wish. And that's my task for you today. Today I want you to either record, list, or draw three things you wish. Three things you wish. Now, you might wish for something that has the sh sound in it. Or you might wish for something that doesn't, and that's okay. I would like you to draw, write, list, sorry, list, or record three things and put them on Seesaw. That's your task for today. Again, great being back with you from Book Friends, and I hope to see you soon. See you tomorrow.